Welcome back, people. Today, I will be using the Daiwa Gekabaijin fresh water. I know it's a salt water reel, but while I set up, y'all catch this mission brief. Welcome back, people. Today, I am at Limestone. It is a hatchery connected to a quarry making the creek extremely cold even in some of the hottest conditions. It is 90 degrees out this joint. And the water temps are 65, it could be possibly lower. But because the water is cold, it keeps the fish biting. The two target species that I'm after are rainbow trout, brown trout. There are palominos, carps, bluegills, I am not after them. If you like what you see so far, subscribe, share, leave a comment, any advice, I'll respond. As for the gear that we will be using today, I will be using a Boy Custom that I got made by Boy Custom, a 510, four piece travel special. Some key elements is one to five grams, casting weight, poison ultimate custom handle Fuji 6 guides I'm looking forward to using this then I'm using the Daiwa 21 Gekabaijin Air TW some of the key elements is you can cast a gram lore it's a salt water ready reel and it has a PE special spool we'll get into that I am using various America and of course I have a discount code for you I am BTB, get you a discount on checkout. Link in the description. Evergreen International Snap. I always use these. Today's Lords is Tom Bates. I'm gonna try to give a link. He's in another country, Poland or something like that. His key elements is ultra realistic, mimics a minnow, slow fall, the really nice soft plastic. I'm hooking it up with a banjo minnow screw on kit, the throwback. Some of the key elements, this is a weedless rubber band, makes fish target the head for some odd reason, and it gives soft plastics a longer life because you're not putting a hook directly in the plastic. The second loop, Mega Bass Nano Siglet. Key elements for this thing, size, it is extremely strong falling splash, long two double hooks, Fur underbelly, depending on which model you get. Let's get it. Let's see what we can catch. All right, guys. So on the top right is my weather. Top left, lore breakdown. A little more detail versus what's in the mission brief. Bottom right, of course, will be the fish fight. Feels different. Hey, yo, I got one. Oh, and what the heck? Did he not get hooked? Because he came back for it. And he came back for it again. I had him hooked. Little guy. The browns are really light. I forgot that. I forgot what kind of test I got on here. Well, I'm cutting up. Six, three. I think it's three. So I gotta be really careful.
There we go. Decent size one. When you flop in the air like that, it gives me leverage. Oh, from the fish? Yeah. No, you gotta get it. Ooh. Okay, here we go. Net over here, do we?
Woo, woo, woo. <sighs> got it. I got him. The doo doo. 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 My final thoughts. Of course, the mission was a success. Hatcheries are usually pretty easy. I don't know how people can't catch fish here. I've literally seen people come here and not catch anything, which is crazy to me. As for my combo, the Gagabai Gin, which was designed for salt water, works perfectly fine in fresh water. It casts things I wanted to cast with no problem precisely pairs perfectly with the boy custom rod that I have and of course the line definitely helps if you made it this far hit the subscribe button leave a comment share it and tell me what you think about the Gekabaijin if you own one if you don't own one and you're thinking if you should get one get it it's not one of them ones it's not it's user friendly let's put it that way it is definitely user friendly also remember i have a discount code with various america during checkout just put in the coupon code i m b t b to get yourself a discount and if you've made it this far remember that the circle is a lifetime free subscription and this square is other fishing videos for you to check out